Shri Guru Bhyana Mahacharan. Now we are in ratio analysis with Nikhilani. And today we are going to discuss about uh, net profit ratio. We are going to teach you how to calculate net profit ratio. So what is net profit ratio? Net profit ratio is the percentage of net profit on revenue from operations. Revenue from operations is nothing but your sales. So when you compare your sales, what is your net profit? Okay. So it is calculated as what? Now you have a formula for calculating net profit ratio. So net profit ratio is net profit ratio is equal to net profit after tax. Net profit after tax divided by revenue from operations. into 100. So net profit is also expressed in form of percentage. Fine. Now, what is net profit after tax? So net profit, net profit after tax. So what is net profit after tax? Is equal to gross profit, gross profit plus indirect plus your indirect income indirect income minus indirect expenses indirect income and expenses will come where in your PNL account okay. minus tax fine or you have another alternate how to find out your net profit after tax. Another method is net profit after tax is equal to revenue from operations revenue from operations minus Cost of revenue from operations minus operating expenses minus operating expenses minus non operating expenses. Plus non operating income minus tax. So, this is how you calculate your net profit after tax. Net profit after tax. Okay. So, this is one method that is revenue from, uh, revenue from operations minus cost of revenue from operations. Minus your operating expenses, minus non operating expenses, plus non operating income. Okay. My income has not come out right. Non operating income minus tax. Fine. Now, uh, net profit ratio is an indicator of an overall profitability of a business. So, a higher a net profit ratio indicates a high profitability. Fine. So, let us do a problem. To find out your net profit ratio. So see the details they have given you. Revenue from operations they have given you. Cost of revenue from operations they have given you. Admin expenses and selling expenses. Now let us uh, write the formula here. Net profit ratio. Net profit ratio is what? Net profit after tax. Divided by what? Revenue from operations. Mm, 200. Fine. Now, revenue from operations you have already given you all revenue from operations. So let us write 
three lakh and fifty thousand into hundred. Now we have to find out net profit after tax. So what is that? What are the details given here? Net profit is equal to cost of revenue from operations. We have, we have cost of revenue from we have revenue from operations. Let's just take revenue from operations. Revenue from operations minus cost of revenue from operations. Revenue from operations, and then you have your minus minus your operating expenses. What are they? Admin expense and your selling expense. Minus your selling expense. Right. So what is your revenue from operation rupees? Three lakh and fifty thousand minus Cost of revenue from operations what? See here the problem that you need 1 lakh and 50,000, 50,000, 10,000, right? So rupees 1 lakh and 50,000 minus 50,000 minus 10,000. Okay, so that is equal to what? So 2 lakh, so 1 lakh 50 plus 50, 2 lakh plus 10. 2 lakh and 10,000, right? So 3 lakh 50,000. All the minuses are added together. So, say I have added all this together. So that comes to 2 lakh 10,000. Right? What is right rupees? So rupees 3 lakh 50 minus 2 lakh 10,000. So how much is that? 3 lakh 50. Minus two lakh ten thousand zero four one lakh and forty thousand. Right. Okay. Now that you found out your what net profit tax, they have not given you. Let us assume. Let us assume that there is no tax payable. Okay. So net profit now you have found out that is at least one lakh and forty thousand. Okay. Now let us cancel. Oh. Okay, now you are left with what? 1400 divided by 35. Now you have to divide it and then you have to find out the answer. So I think you can uh, divide 1400 divided by what? 35. You can simplify it also. 5 will go here how many times? 7 times. 5 will go here. So again 2, 200, right? Okay, or 35 itself you can, directly you can do. So that comes to 4 times, I think 0, 35, 4, 20, 40, okay. So that comes to 4, right? 4. So again you have 0, so 40 percent. So net profit ratio is 40 percent. Okay, it's very easy. Now, uh, shall we do the exercise problem as well? Okay, now we have an exercise problem here. From the following details, calculate the net profit ratio of the business concern. Right? They have given you revenue from operations and they give you cost of revenue of office and selling expenses. So, net profit ratio. Net profit ratio. Is what? Net profit after tax divided by revenue from operations. Into 100. They haven't given you the net profit, they have given you revenue from operations. What is that? 9 lakh and 60,000 into 100. Okay. So now let us go back and find out the net profit. So net profit, how to find out? 
you have your revenue from operations. Minus cost of revenue. From operations. Minus your operating expenses. They are office. And admin expense. Minus selling and distribution expense. Fine. Okay, what does that come up to? Revenue is rupees five lakh and fifty thousand. Minus cost. Sorry, revenue is nine lakh and sixty thousand, right? Okay, so. Revenue is rupees nine lakh and sixty thousand. Minus cost is five lakh and fifty thousand. Minus office is one lakh and forty five thousand. Minus twenty five thousand. Hi. Okay. Now twenty five thousand. That comes to how much now? Nine lakh sixty thousand minus. We just add this, so that comes to five lakh fifty thousand. One lakh forty five plus twenty five, so zero nine ten eleven twelve. Carry one eight. So eight lakh and twenty thousand. So let us subtract and then find out the answer. Nine sixty minus eight twenty. So one lakh and forty. So it is one lakh and forty thousand. That is a net profit. Fine. So one lakh and forty thousand. So let us cancel this. Let us cancel this. Four and four you have. You cannot cancel this. Thousand four hundred divided by ninety-six. So you can simplify it. Okay. So one lakh and uh, four thousand divided by. So just uh, find out if the answer is right. Five lakh and fifty zero. Not eight lakh, it's seven lakh thousand, seven lakh and twenty thousand. So that comes to two lakh and forty. Right, so two lakh and forty. So two lakh and forty thousand. Right, okay. Now you can simplify it. So ninety four, two thousand four hundred divided by ninety six. So let us see four will go here twice. Okay. Four twos are eight. Four fours are sixteen. Then four four sixes are twenty-four. Okay. Now here six is going to go here. Six fours are twenty-four. Six will go here. Hundred times. Now we'll simplify. Four will go here once. Four is going to go two. Again, you have a balance of twenty. So five. So now the answer is twenty-five thousand. Too much. I got the answer right. Okay, so we here we got nine ten six plus one seven. So so seven lakh twenty thousand. So we made a mistake here. We rectified. Okay, I hope you understood the problem. Thank you, children.